Now if for whatever fun and crazy reason you decided to shove a gun in my mouth and force me to come up with my absolute favourite premium flagship smartphone of 2019, I'd honestly struggle to give you an answer, partly because I'd have a gun in my mouth obviously, and partly because it's a tough choice. I really loved the likes of the Yazoo Zenfone 6, which was definitely a surprise and highlight of last year, and of course then you've got the likes of the OnePlus 7T handsets to consider as well. But there is absolutely no doubt that Huawei's P30 Pro would definitely at the very least sneak into the top three with its cunning blend of premium hardware and satisfying software. Of course, the Huawei Mate 30 Pro was another slick bit of kit that came later, and one that's now finally available here in Blighty, courtesy of Carphone Warehouse. But the lack of Google services is definitely a pretty tough sell, as it really limits your app access and your Android updates. If you're not willing to make that compromise, then the Huawei P30 Pro is a solid bet. Even a full year on, it still feels like a fresh new handset, and of course, you've got all that googly goodness stuffed away in there. Now, return full time to the P30 Pro again recently, and yeah, I am most definitely still smitten. So here's my one-year long-term review of the Huawei P30 Pro for all you need to know if you're considering a purchase right now. And for more of the latest, greatest tech, please do pog subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Now you've got to give it to Huawei, they really bloody know how to make a good looking phone. While the Pro might not do anything significantly different from the norm, the way that that crystal white surface just bursts with colour when it catches the light is simply stunning, just as long as you've buffed it up a bit to get rid of all your greasy hand smudges. And I'm pretty impressed by how durable the P30 Pro has turned out to be as well. Even a full 12 months on, that back end is still looking nice and pristine, no scratches or scuffs or anything to speak of. Unfortunately, there are a couple of gouges here on the display end, so I would definitely recommend slapping a screen protector on if you're going to grab one. Unfortunately, one does not come pre-installed. Factor in the IP68 water and dust resistance though, and this Huawei handset definitely gets a solid 4 out of 5 on the stathometer scale. And while the P30 Pro isn't exactly refreshingly compact like the standard P30, it is still a perfectly comfortable grip thanks to the curvaceous design and that well-balanced weight. To unlock the phone, you've got the usual in-display fingerprint sensor and face recognition combo, and both options still work perfectly. They're just as responsive and accurate as newer alternatives, no worries. Now, a couple of months back, my P30 Pro sample was updated to the latest Android 10 OS, complete with a nice bit of Huawei's Emotion UI 10 smushed on top. And this brings in some very welcome updates, including, of course, that sexy dark mode and more customization than ever before. I'm definitely still a big fan of the software design, from that clean presentation to the excellent bonus features. But but some of the great AMUI features found on the Mate 30 Pro, like the choice of always on display layout, are sadly still missing in action here on the P30 Pro. So I've already covered the Emotion UI 10 launch in a completely separate dedicated video, so I won't bang on about it again here, just repeating myself. But for a closer look at some of the best features and some of the features that are missing from the P30 Pro version, definitely go check that out. Another highlight of the P30 Pro is that spacious 6.47 inch display. A year ago this seemed rather big, but now it's just bang average as far as the dimensions go. So that OLED tech means rich, vivid colours leak from every pixel, while the brightness and temperature range matches any environmental conditions. Of course, if you decided to go for the likes of Samsung Galaxy S20 family or the new OnePlus 7T phones, then you would get upgrades over the Huawei P30 Pro display, such as a Quad HD resolution for even crisper visuals, and a bump up in the screen refresh rate as well for a more smoother UI experience. And while those features are undoubtedly nice to have, I thankfully didn't really miss them too much here on the P30 Pro. It's only really when you jump straight from one phone to another that you really notice that difference, and Huawei's handset is still a delight for just kicking back with some HDR film action on Netflix or enjoying a spot of the YouTubes. I've had absolutely no issues whatsoever connecting a wide variety of Bluetooth earbuds to the Huawei P30 Pro over the preceding year. Either that wireless connection is nice and strong and stable, although it is definitely a ball leak, not having a proper dedicated headphone jack on this thing. Sometimes it's just nice to have that wired option. And now that even Samsung said bollocks to that as well, it's becoming increasingly rare to find. Certainly on the more premium handsets, you're going to have to go into the budget blower territory to find yourself a phone with a headphone jack. It's also a mono speaker setup here on the P30 Pro, as Huawei's acoustic display tech has replaced the earpiece entirely, which incidentally still works absolutely fine as well. Whenever I take a call, which is increasingly rare these days, of course, the sound is actually transmitted via vibration in the screen and even when I'm taking calls outside in a quite noisy environment I can generally hear quite nicely the clarity is pretty surprisingly good. Now you're probably wondering as well about the performance here on the P30 Pro as it is powered by Huawei's aging Kirin 980 chipset and that platform's well over a year old now as it launched at the same time as the Mate 20 handsets back in 2018 but the good news is as far as grunt work goes the P30 Pro absolutely smashes it still. I still never see a stutter or an unseemly pause as I'm getting on with my stuff and of course 
gaming is no sweat at all. If you boost those PUBG detail settings to maximum levels, you'll still get a smooth session, no matter how long you spend running about the place busting caps in complete strangers. Even games that aren't helped along by a bit of GPU turbo action still play absolutely fine, nice crisp frame rates. And another feature that hasn't degraded over the past 12 months is the battery life. The P30 Pro packs a huge 4200mAh cell, and that'll easily see you through to the death's end of a crazy hectic day. As an example recently, I took a big old road trip, used it as a sat nav for over 3 hours, I used it to stream media to keep my kid happy, I used it for a Skype session to keep my parents happy, and at the end of all of that, it still had juice in the tank, it really is impressive stuff. And when the P30 Pro does finally bite the dust, that 40 watt supercharged tech means you'll be filled up again in no time at all, and of course you've got support for wireless charging and reverse wireless charging, just in case you've got some Qi compatible accessories stuffed in your bag or whatever too. And despite its age, the P30 Pro still boasts one of the better smartphone cameras around even now in 2020. That 40 megapixel super spectrum lens can capture some great looking shots in pretty much any situation with bugger all effort on your part. Those photos are packed with detail and you can choose to have rich, vibrant colours or more natural hues if you like by toggling that AI mode on or off. You also get a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle lens for a very different viewpoint when needed, plus that funky 8 megapixel telephoto lens which still impresses with its 5 times optical zoom. Samsung has only just beaten that with a 10 times optical zoom on its S20 Ultra model which costs roughly the same as a semi detached house. And you know what? The iPhone 11 Pro which came 6 months later and costs half a grand more still isn't as good as the P30 Pro for the telephoto lens, the night mode's not quite as good. Frankly, this is the thing you want if you want top quality optics at a price that won't absolutely cripple your savings. And of course I've done a full Huawei P30 Pro camera review so go check that out for all you need to know. So that right there is what I reckon of the Huawei P30 Pro a full 12 months on after it first gave me a raging tech boner. And the fact that you can grab it for just 600 quid outside of sales these days makes the P30 Pro a pretty easy recommendation against quite a lot of other more expensive flagship smartphones. So have you been using the P30 Pro as your full time personal handset? It'd be great to get your own personal review down in the comments below. And I also did a long term review recently of the Huawei P30 which of course is a bit more compact, not quite as smart in terms of the specs and everything but it's also more affordable as well. So definitely go check that out for all you need to know on that bad boy. And for more on the latest greatest tech please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers!